someone wants to speak to you. Okay. <laughs> why can't you? Why can't you find a good person? In I the can. Club? The po the point is, you can. You just have to change your approach. Change your approach. I mean, I mean, change your you approach. Know, Don't look for women are, in clubs. Look for nice, decent women. You know, someone who's about something. If you see me, you know, dressed a kind of a certain kind of way, I don't dress. You know, with the short shorts. And, I mean, the short dresses and my chest all out. I just want it really like a nerdy man like myself. So people that dress that way are negative. They're not. Well, I'm just saying. The, so why are you why are you disregarding them for the I'm way they dress? I'm not disregarding them. I'm just I'm just. Saying, talking about you, you're saying, well, the kind of women who um, hang out at TK, TK9 or whatever that club is, I don't hang out there. Well, that wasn't me that said that, but... Well, one of, I I'm, mean, well I'm just saying the point is try to have a more positive approach. Don't try to put all black women in one... You know, no one, put, no one, if, if no one keep, put all black women in that, and this is a fundamental problem I have when we have these discussions. No, I'm just saying be there more are, positive and uh, realize there are there good are women some, out here just like there are good black men, there, right? Well, be exactly. More we never said all black women were bad. Well, and you're, no, what, hold on, hold on. What's the title no, of hold this on. show? This is. A, I feel like I'm married to you <laughs> <laughs> because you, no, you're not going to let me speak. This is exactly what I'm referring to. Um, when we talk about these problems, it doesn't say every black woman. Well, I, find are, it, I didn't do it to you. Listen to the show. Get a tape of the show after the show and then listen to it and you'll see how it sounds. Vice, right. well, vice versa. Like when sisters, attitude. Like when vice versa. sisters get around and they dog men, I don't like that. All I right. break that down too. I'll give All you right. a hand so she, clap. So you're, up, you're upset about the, what you perceive as the dogging instead of the men just expressing how they feel. Well, I mean, men, I mean, I see men and women do it. So it's uh, not like men uh, are only doing it. Women uh, do it too. I guess the point is to get beyond just expressing and going off and take a look at what all of the stuff means right, because, and what you can do about it. Right. When I met, like, it's when I met the new guy. Right. I can't bring him all the baggage from, like, you did this. He didn't right. do that to me. Right, right, it's right. It's not his fault. You got to start off with a clean slate. Right. And you have uh, to take time. You have to take time to heal up. Absolutely. And then go out. All right. And I had to do my time. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot for calling. And you gentlemen have a great day. All right. Okay, bye-bye. We'll, we'll take the next caller. Welcome to the Audrey Chapman Show. You're on the air. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm fine. How are you? Fine. I just wanted to give another woman's point of view. Sure. I'm a 46-year-old divorcee. Okay. Uh, with five kids. Okay. Uh, two of them grown and uh, graduated from college. But I was married 17 years and... and uh, to a nice guy. Right. And uh, since I've been divorced, uh, my husband and I are still friends. But he tells the children, I never want another woman smarter than me. <laughs> so, okay. He never wants anyone smarter than me. And since the divorce, uh, after three years of grieving, I finally came out of the shell and started my life, started to recuperate. And I've been in a relationship two and a half years. Uh -huh. My husband was just a high school graduate, and I, I have a Bachelor of Science degree in criminology. Right. <laughs> so since then, I've been with someone two and a half years and think I've committed totally to this relationship. The guy is working on his doctorate degree. Right. A month ago, he comes and says, you're too different. And, and I'm thinking, different than what? And, you know, he's too different. You're too different. You're too different. And then finally, it comes out last week, I'm too different than the person he was married to before. And so now I'm out of that relationship. But what I find is uh, because I'm independent, I'm a uh, technical technician for the phone company, and because I'm independent and I'm not needy, I'm not looking for someone to pay bills, I'm not looking for someone to come in and rescue me. I'd like someone who knows what they want, who is willing to be committed in a relationship. And that means emotionally, uh, it also means that, you know, they're not going to be looking around for other people on the side, that they have, you know, their track is lined up with what I'm, where I am. Well, let me tell you something about relationships. They work better when you are not totally independent. They also work better when you're not totally dependent. Yeah, I find the, that... The goal to strive for is interdependence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. That's and if attitude. you're not striving for that, you are not going to ever be comfortable in a relationship with someone else, nor will they with you. Well, I find that the guys are more attracted. The girls but, who, but are you able, women who are, are, are you me, are you able to take that piece in? Because it's very, oh, yeah. very yeah. important. Because there are too many people who walk around with a badge of honor about independence, and independence is 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 not the thing that will make a relationship work. Yeah, but guys assume that you are totally independent when actually 
All I'm trying to do is keep a roof over my children's head, keep them focused, well, keep them in school. Well, and God, you know, they don't know you need holding. I need holding. I need caressing. I need caring. I need someone to sit that, up with that, that night. Is, that is my point, that, yeah. it, that, that if you are not doing a good balance job, and I think that you think that you are, and I would like for you to just spend some time checking that out. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing a good balance job, that's what's getting you into trouble. Now, I just want you to sort of just sit with that. Okay. All right. Thanks okay. for calling in. We'll take the next caller. You. Welcome to the Audrey Chapman Show. You're on the air. Um, I have a couple comments to make, and one of them are about the statistics of being married. I think that you're correct when you say you can't really use 18-year-olds. I think from the age of 18 to 25, you are finding yourself. Um, well, and... So it, I, so it goes, mm -hmm. so, so it goes, the older the better. Right, I agree with that. <laughs> okay. Um, and right. the comment, with the um, I don't know which one of the guys made it. It about, doesn't matter, just go okay, ahead with it. <laughs> about the, um, about always pain. I would love well, to I go start, Well, I started that. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> now, right, I get do it right. Agree. Wait a minute, I do agree that, well, I came in kind of, you know, in the middle. Uh, I okay. do agree that if I'm going out with a guy, if he offers to take me out, Right. I do expect him to pay. But if I say, hey, you know, what are you doing tonight? And he says, you know, whatever. And I say, well, we feel like going out. Let's go out to dinner. Or let's go out to a movie. I'm making that offer, so I feel that, you know, I'm going to make the gesture to pay. But how many and times if, do you do that? I do that all the time. <laughs> whenever I ask. I'd like to see I that. Ask, excuse me? I'd like to see that. You know what? I'll leave you my number and we can go out. <laughs> I think okay. you're a little too young for me. But no, whenever I make the gesture, hmm. so what is out, what does age have to do with it? You know, absolutely nothing. If you're right, don't don't, don't get started. <laughs> no, nah, get you're started. Right. Okay, <laughs> you're right. Age has nothing to do with it as long as you see, act. See, that's part of the adi that's part of the attitude black men have to deal with. You I, hey, I don't. Well, wait a minute now. I'm 37. I don't want to date. 17 year old. Oh, well, we now, understand. I will date a 22 year old if he acts as if he's a man. But I'm not going to date a man who acts as if he's a child. Mm -hmm. um, I would hope that you get with him because he is a man. Right. Uh, acting, right. Uh, acting goes with the makeup. <laughs> okay? Once right. it takes off, you've got a child if he's not a man fully developed. Right. Okay. And I do agree with the other comment. Because I find myself the same way. When you are out there and you're dating, and I don't think it matters um, what club you go to. It's how you carry yourself. But when you're out there and um, you meet someone and um, there's, um, I'm sorry, I lost the train of thought that I was having, but when you show that you have something, and I think the men are just the opposite. If you're talking and he says, well, I have this, I have that, and if you say, well, you know, and you're talking and you have that conversation, he finds out that, hey, you're pretty successful and he, you're not impressed about what he has, but you're impressed about what, you know, what's inside of him, it's just the opposite. He's turned off with you because he wants a woman to... to yeah, you know, one of the things that we haven't talked about, mm -hmm. and, and I think it's real, and that is the competition. Mm -hmm. And the competition puts a lot of pressure on a bunch of folks to present themselves like a pretty package out there. And the prettier the package, the, the belief is, the more someone's going to pay attention, the more that you're going to be able to pull in something that, that, that you think is going to have something going on. And the next thing you know, uh, you're hoping to be able to pull in uh, something better than what your friends are pulling in, you know, who are standing right next to you. And the competition starts to get pretty, pretty high, and it, it gets pretty, pretty outlandish at some point because... Uh, it becomes all about the, the competition and who you were able to get a phone number from or walk out of the, the place with. And it, it, it just it, it boils down to something that, that is anything but, but good for either party because you become more a, uh, a prop or something that somebody's just sort of picking, like you pick a plant from a, a garden, but you're not dealing with a human being. You're not dealing with, with what's really there. You're not dealing with the substance of the person, nor are they dealing the substance of you and this is really what why we're we're looking at this whole issue we're going to go right back to the phone lines now welcome to the audrey chapman show you're on the air hello you want to commend i want to commend you first of all for having this conversation um unfortunately it's not one that we're going to be able to solve in just one show amen well you're absolutely <laughs> you're absolutely right about that 